Okay, slow down, stop. So we got a call for a Chevy Malibu that's stuck up here near Lava Point. We're gonna see if we can find them and get them off of whatever they're hung up on and get them on their way. We got Skeeter with the weather. 80 degrees today, nice calm day, high up altitude, real good air. We got Lizzie here. And it's gonna be a good day. We'll get them out. All right, we just turned on to Lava Point Road. They said they were at the campground, but they didn't have a space number. So, just gotta go look for them. It's crazy how just 45 minutes up in elevation will change completely, because it's down in Hurricane, it's 95, it's hot and sunshiny. Up here, it's a cloud cover and 70 degrees, and it feels amazing. It's supposed to be like 111 today or something yeah. like that. It's gonna be miserable. Can we stay up here all day then? Please. Oh man, I have pulled hundreds of thousands of pounds out of this little hole right here. Yeah? I pulled out other tow companies' tow trucks. I pulled out my tow trucks. Just car after car after car. This little spot right here. It's they muddy. Can't, they yeah. can't get around. Mud or snow. Okay. And they get stuck down here. Once you're down here, you're stuck. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for, I think, a white Chevy Malibu. And they've pulled on to some sort of a rock. Whoa. Ooh, firefighter. Yeah, it's flying. We got some uh, wildfire activity going on up here right now, so we're kind of dodging firefighters and fire trucks and stuff. I think it was put out. I think today they're just hiking around, putting out hot spots. Is that them? Maybe. They're looking yeah, at they're on a rock. Dust. Remember which job that was? <laughs> yeah, that was a scary job. So this is more and more what's happening. These newer cars, there's not a single recovery point here. There's nothing in the frame. I've had people tell me, yeah, there's there's places for the mini J's and the other cluster attachments, but there's not, They're, they don't have them anymore. So we just gotta get creative here. That's what we're gonna do. Soft shackle for the win. Yeah, freedom winch line for the win. Freedom winch line for the win, cause it has a built-in shackle on it. Check it out. Okay, Lizzie, jump in it. Set the parking brake. Put it in neutral. Did you know we modified the parking brake rule, Lizzie? Yeah, let yep, the brake let, let the brake off. Um, make sure the wheels turned all the way to the right. That's the left. There you go. Okay. It's coming off all right. Let's make sure we don't come down on the door. You know? Yeah. Do you think we can yeah, put under yeah. there? Just in case. If you don't know Matt, he's done this for a long time and he's anticipated these things. Take a couple of these. There's another rock right here. I was thinking you could put one right there just so it doesn't get caught right there. Yeah, it's, we're, we're coming down now. The car's coming up. Okay, Lizzie, we're dealing with inches here. So if you go back too far, you're going to rip this whole front of this car up. So inches. No pressure, so, Lizzie. Start letting off the brakes really slowly. 
Yep, you're doing great. Okay, are you off the brake? It's looking pretty good. Okay, double foot it and back it up two inches. Okay, back keep going. Okay, slow down, stop. You're off. Okay, that's going to be fine when it drops off of there. Okay, put it in park. I'm going to unhook this. All right, go ahead and back up. All right, that's done. It. Hey, look at this. Look what we get to do. We just completed job number 65 since we got the banana back from Robbie's paint shop. That wasn't too big of a deal. They were working on it. I bet you they would have been able to get it off if in the next probably 30 or 40 minutes. But we're better at it. Yeah. We got it pulled off of there. It didn't cause any extra damage. It was nice and smooth, easy pull. If you guessed that Matt is out of town, you'd be right because he's up in American Fork getting out some Lexus or something. And guess what? He took the Morver and the banana with him. So that leaves us with Jamie's Jeep, the Tangerine. So we got a call for four pickup trucks that are stuck in the sand out at Sand Hollow. Hi to Julian. We'll be right back. I think my four wheel drive went out. Uh oh. All right. I don't know whether we can get the momentum going forward. It seems like there's a lot of pressure. Eh, there's not much. So I think we're going to try and pull you guys back down to the beach and then you can get momentum going and going up. And you're going to have to drive a little quick coming back up, but I think that's the best way to get you guys out of here. Yeah. So, are we going forward at all? It's just, just pulling onto this, we were getting stuck right there. But we were, granted, we were only in two wheel drive, but this isn't the banana or the more bear, so. I'm gonna have to pull her out of the way. Look at it just digging in, dude. Yeah. All right, we'll pull Julian out of the way. We might need to call we Rudy. Could go forward so this way that red truck wouldn't be in the way. I can't pull her forward. I'm bare. I'm down on a downhill right now, uh, and I'm digging in. One down, three to go.
Yeah, I'm almost there. This Let's guy see. might want to help though, hook up in front. Uh, you got a rope? I got better than a rope. All right. I got that, and then I got clavices. Okay. Are you good with pulling me up a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hand me that. It's good? Yay! You guys want some help? Are we okay? All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Good luck. You got it, thanks. <laughs> it's never an embarrassment to ask for help, okay? The sand was super soft today, but we got the momentum up, got Julian and the other customer out and on their way. So we got a call for a minivan of some kind. Kind of took that phone call in a hurry. They're somewhere in Leeds. The family's been there for like four hours. So we're gonna go hurry out there and get them out as quick as possible because it is hot. All right, let's see what we got. So the only reason why he's high centered on the rock is because he dug down in. He's already got our, our rock stacked up for us though. So, I don't think this one's gonna be terrible. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. This is gonna be fun. Run the rope under, slowly pull him forward, get him up on top of that rock. Okay. Nice rock stacking epic. <laughs> I know, I'm good at it. Just ask Tucker and Matt when we went to Goblin Valley, we stacked tons of rocks. And I had to drive that can ammo. We're actually improvising using mostly stone tools. But this is how people got their razors out for thousands of years. Tom, if you were to guess, how sturdy is this? Aren't you some kind of engineer? It's a little more than sand. Buckle up, buttercup. Oh, I'm buckled up. That won't be a far fall, but it'll still hurt. Okay. You want to get in it and turn it hard passenger? This isn't the banana or the more bear. Oh my God, she did it! I might have to keep pulling you out. Try straightening your tires. Go a little bit, less the... Nope, stop, stop. I'm gonna pull you out. It went good, it was easy. Okay, it was a tiny bit harder than I was expecting because I was expect I'm used to the Morvair and the banana. And so I was expecting it to just be able to go in reverse and pull it back, but couldn't do that, which is fine. 
the kinetic work rope worked exactly how I needed it to. Just gave it a couple quick pops, broke it free, and popped it right up on the rock. Got him out. Thanks for watching. I'm thirsty. Me too. So we're gonna go get a drink.